Hello, welcome back to Simply Greg's V. You join us here at one of our favorite charging spots just north of Montreal. And recently, Circuit Electric, our provincial charging provider owned by Hydro-Quebec, they have enabled plug and charge on most of their EV charging network. This basically means that if your car is capable of, auto, of plug and charge, I almost said auto charge there, my same thing, right? that basically you just roll up to a charger, you, you stick in the handle and your car starts to charge automatically. Luckily for us recently, Mini just got the update to plug and charge. So that's what we'll be setting up here. We'll be setting up um, the plug and charge or auto charge through circuit electric. We'll take you through the steps and we'll see if it actually works. And for once, we're actually at a really low state of charge in the uh, Mini and we have the Mini on the channel. Let's get into it. This is a site that doesn't need any crazy introductions. Uh, 350 kilowatt ABB dispenser, ABB site here. So let's get plugged in. We are at number one. It says auto charge available, finish setup. We will click continue. It's saying set up and it's giving us a countdown to plug the car in. So we have 42 seconds to plug the car in. And me, like a blithering idiot, has parked extremely far away so now we have to fight with this chatamo cable while we're doing this so while filming this so that's in we'll go around to this side we're plugged in it is saying connect your vehicle and it's done something here now it's linking the account to the car perfect and there we go congratulations now we can auto charge with this vehicle awesome so we'll just close the auto charge symbol down and what we'll do is we'll let it ramp up. We'll let it ramp up to almost full speed. We'll move this out of the way. We'll unplug. What we'll do is we'll unplug and we'll plug back in and see if the auto charge actually works. So here we are is that Ionic 5 it drives off. I thought he was coming in here for a second. And the loudest charging site in all of humanity is here. Now imagine how quiet that would be if that container truck, that skip truck, was, uh, was electric. So here we are, we're ramping up 34 kilowatts. So we'll let it charge about two minutes. We'll unplug and plug back in and we'll see if it actually works. While we're killing some time here, while that charges just for a few minutes to see if the, if the auto charge actually works. Auto charge, plug and charge. It's all the same thing, just different marketing terms. Um, definitely using ISO 15.11.8 protocol which is the industry standard these days uh, accepted the, the mac address from the car to be honest with you i did not know that this car was enabled with uh, plug and charge or auto charge uh, it has gone through a uh, software update recently a uh, over the air update which i also didn't know that this car can do but apparently it can do some ota updates and this a few weeks ago wasn't in the circuit electric app they had the usual suspects, Kia, VinFast was there. We were actually going to film this video with um, the VF8, but today I was going through it and saw that Mini was available. So I'm like, we got to get up and see if it works. And we're already here filming another video involving this same charger. Um, this will be a total game changer here in Quebec. As you know, there's a massive amount of EVs here and there's going to be no more faffing about with the app or where's your charging card because I believe this is 90% of the network has um, auto charge enabled. So huge, huge game changer. You just roll up, plug in, good to go. Um, well, hopefully that's what we got to figure out here, see if it actually does work but uh everything seems good they've been they've been trying to roll this out for a while i believe they were a bit behind but so far so good it's if it works if it if it works uh what we'll do here now is we'll we'll stop the charge we'll plug back in and we'll see if it actually auto charges so that should be good we've been here we've been here for what three minutes already let's stop the charge we'll stop the charge here We'll get unplugged. We'll get unplugged here. This will be unplugged. All right, so charge arrêté. We'll wait for this to reset. We'll just click OK. And that's it. So it says, uh, bienvenue, welcome, and connect. Perfect. Let's plug this in and see how long it takes. So this would be basically be, you just rolled up here, you have your auto charge enabled. So we'll plug this in. We'll plug the CCS handle in. It says, if auto charge, 
uh, it should it should go automatically with auto charge let's see there it is there we go that took literally what five seconds now we are completely auto charging how cool is that how cool is that we are completely auto charging it's going through its checks now uh preparation because we're in quebec it's all in french super cool and that's it we are auto charging how cool is that that's how it should be so basically this is very tesla styles roll up with circuit electric plug it in i know electrify canada electrify america they do have plug and charge on uh, their network but we're all we're charging up here perfectly fine this is how it should work and yeah i don't what we'll do is we'll go to another charging site that has auto charge enabled and we'll see if it works there on one of the uh, flow units now i've arrived at a flow site right near my house just to see if the plug and charge works here or auto charge i keep getting it wrong so here this is a, your standard ad energy flow 100 kilowatt 50 kilowatt you got some 24s over here so we'll plug in over here but it's very difficult because the mini doesn't have a light in the charge port for whatever reason just bear with me here there we go that's clicked in let's see what comes up here retrieving vehicle information let's see how long this takes to uh, auto charge here and this is another auto charge enabled site you'll actually see it on the uh, app which sites have auto charge and it's most of them there we go it's kicked on now the contactor has clipped it's doing its handshake pre-charge tests so yeah pretty cool that it even works on uh, what i would call legacy equipment and very common equipment just taking a bit longer here here we go 12 percent state of charge yeah i hammered it back from the valve 336 volts two kilowatts ramping up very slowly the mini the mini with uh, dc charging isn't the uh how should i say greatest it's better than a bolt though and here we go 19 kilowatts ramping up very slowly so super cool even works on the uh, legacy equipment as those motorcycles drive off making a ton of noise total game changer this is what i want to try it on because here in quebec these are the most common types of chargers here the 50 kilowatt 100 kilowatt ad energy circuit electric sites these are the most common ones and we're pulling 43 kilowatts 125 amps i think that's going to be it for here and we'll cut back to me of the uh, at the other charging site to do the final thoughts this was i just wanted to stop by on the uh, way home so yeah continuity errors comment below i'll try not to do this again and we'll just stop the charge now i do hope you enjoyed watching uh, i know we might have been um, a bit zoomed in there for a, a minute or two super cool i'm really happy that they rolled out their um auto charge feature here at circuit electric this will be a massive game changer in quebec just if you're watching this take your time to set it up properly understand how it works now i just hope they get rid of having to uh continually add funds to your account hopefully they'll figure out that payment processing where you can just add a credit card to it or do you know what would be really cool if they could just bill it to your electricity bill because they're basically owned by the only electricity utility here in quebec hydro quebec if they could just bill this charging directly to your electricity bill that would be even more awesome that'd be even better so it works a few of you have been asking me for for this video we finally came out to film it i don't know how good it is because i'm filming one-handed uh, and that could be quite difficult at times but anyways we proved the concept works they've definitely been testing this for a while finally available on the mini and it's just super cool it's super cool it's just basically it's as easy as putting gas now uh hopefully the fiat will have it enabled at a, a later date and we'll get the vinfast set up and we shall see you in the next video bye for now